This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Gym Mobile. With me, I've got the heavyweight champion of the world. Someone oh. who has some versions of it. Some fat are you white one, guy. Are you anyway. one of them? Or are you yeah, just, I'm just a fat white person. Yeah. That That's light's a bit bright. Can you turn it down, please? Right. Thank you. Come on in. 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 Come on, bruv. Come on, okay, bruv. Your dad in the press conference. Yeah. Agree with everything he said? Um, whatever. Yeah, I agree with it all. Sensational. You know where you get talking from, don't you? Well. Get from the old man. Yeah, really? He's really, a talker, isn't he, like me? So, he's older, so I must have got it from him. I want to ask you about, obviously, the weekend. Um, I spoke to you the other day. Do you agree it's good for British boxing that he won the other night? It's very good for British boxing, and it's very good for me, because I'm going to win a lot of money in the fight. You said countless times before the fight that you believed Martin would win. People didn't know really whether you were being serious with your comments or not. You can confirm now whether you were or not. I was 100% serious, but I was wrong. And what? Come at me, bro. Okay, you're wrong, you're wrong. All right, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So you, what? I'll you expected it. more from Charles Martin? I expected more from... I expected more... I expected him throw a punch, at least. He'd come over and shit himself, but we're not going to go into that, are we? We're not going to try and discredit another man's performance. So there we are. Night for July has been set for your rematch. Yeah. More importantly, it's over here. So, are you surprised that he was willing to come over here? No, me? because I'm the champion, he's got to come over here. Got to. Okay. Did you think he would have retired before taking this fight, originally? Uh, I thought he would, but he proved me wrong on that at all. I didn't think he'd fight me, but he proved me wrong on that at all. I've been wrong quite a lot lately. So you don't expect anything to happen between the night now and the night for July? I might get injured. Enough said, eh, on that matter. Well, he may get injured. Well, he may do as well, but we'll see. Um, what did you assess, or what did you make of actually Anthony Joshua's performance over the weekend? Are you here to talk about Anthony Joshua, or are you here to talk about my oh. balls? Which one is it? Your balls, if you want. Right, I'm sick of hearing the same shite out of you, mate. You want head button or not? Oh. Billy, no, no. should we get him outside and kick his cunt in? Come up here, then, and say it, then, big boy. Right, say exactly what you just <laughs> said, straight to Go on, it. Say it. You're licking Eddie Hearn's ass. Yeah? Yeah. This why, isn't... why you keep mentioning to him to him for? What? I didn't mention Eddie Hearn to him. You, you don't even know what I'm talking about. You pull Eddie Hearn. You're just filming this. Don't film this. You pull Eddie Hearn's trousers down. You don't film it. Get him on camera like he gets us on camera. You pull Eddie Hearn's trousers down and knosh him off. Eddie Hearn even touches this. This ain't nothing to do with Eddie Hearn. Why are you pulling out your fart in the throat, big boy? Hey? Because I've got injury. Have I was you really? I've and got injury. Yeah. Oh, at least you admit yeah. why you got it. <laughs> That's the reason why. At least you why so you got why it. Why are you keep mentioning Joshua? Why are you bottling from back Max Burzak? Why are you bottling it from Max Burzak? Why are you giving this man an interview for? Well, I'll tell you why, right? Joshua. Why is it everyone. Did you always see Joshua the other day? You are the greatest I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Find it. Show him now. I'll give you a grand. Listen, every time they talk about heavyweights, they've got to pull out the Joshua on the arse, haven't they? Listen, that's what everyone's going to ask you. Let so me ask you one thing. Let me ask you one he thing. He can beat yeah. Anthony Joshua. Let me ask you one thing. Let me ask you one thing. Yeah. Do you think this is right? If Tyson Fury didn't lick Klitschko, would Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, and the other fellow with the tight trousers, the other night, shorts, <laughs> would have had a pay weekend? No, I agree. People listen. might say to me, oh, "What are you getting involved?" But I'm just telling my opinion. I'm just giving it. Sorry, but you keep mentioning Anthony Joshua to him. I heard him state you keep you, you're the same, didn't you? Tell him what you heard Anthony Joshua mention, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, right, you did hear it. So you're talking <laughs> <about> <laughs> it. Why have you bowled it for Max Bozak? How about that? Because the man, the man's a yeah. good man, isn't he? He's yeah. another bum. He's, well, he's you useless. didn't want to fight him. Hang on, right. we ain't finished yet. This man talking. See that, Bill? Let's, no, can you let this man talk to us and don't give him. A I'm going to be Tyson's manager. New, uh, listen, can you step off, please? Come, come on. Is this man a role model? Come on. Is this man a role model? Well, would you like your son to beat the man who's beat everybody for the last 20 years? Would you like your son to do that? Or would you like your son to go up and down selling wraps of coat? What do you want to do? <laughs> what do you do? Hey, enough said. Enough said. All right, so I said, listen, thanks for coming to Eiffel TV. Go on, do one. And we'll speak to you soon. Go on, do one. Big thanks to uh, Joe Ricotta and Nonna's Kitchen, Sicilian Recipes for sponsoring the champ. Uh, check it out if you can, in Hoddesdon, uh, top restaurant, looking forward to doing a lot of business with these guys, he's supplying all my food now, fit for a champion.